Hello friends, this video on thermodynamics part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 14 for thermochemical equation. What is a thermochemical equation? Thermochemical equation is nothing but a balanced chemical equation. It's a balanced chemical equation with the value of enthalpy. So they just add enthalpy of reaction with that. The equation becomes thermochemical equation because a thermodynamic parameter called enthalpy has been added. The format is of this format. You have some balanced chemical reaction and the enthalpy is given the sign. And as I already told, a thermochemical equation is an endothermic equation if delta H is greater than zero and exothermic here, delta H is less than zero, right? So the energy of the system goes down, exothermic, energy of the system goes up, endothermic. So we can take some examples of thermochemical equation. For example, if you see hydrogen in gas form plus oxygen in gas form gives H2. Half oxygen. And delta H will be minus 572 kilojoule. If you multiply everything by 2, so what you get here is sorry for this delta H is minus 286 kilojoule. If you multiply this thing by 2, you get 2H2 plus oxygen gives you hydrogen water molecule. So here delta H is minus 572 kilojoule. See this, this explains that uh, thermochemical equation is a sorry uh, the enthalpy change is an extension property. We will touch upon this in the next slide because you increase the double the quantity the enthalpy also doubled. And if you reverse this example, if I reverse this one, I'll reverse this guy from H2O liquid, if you take hydrogen gas plus oxygen gas, so the sign of enthalpy will change, it will become 286 kilojoule. The positive sign. You flip this, the sign changes you double it, delta H becomes double. We can take some more reactions also we have, you have methane in the gas form, you burn this, it gives you carbon dioxide plus water in liquid form, this is in gas form, you balance it, uh, carbon is balanced, oxygen gives you unbalanced yeah. This is the balanced chemical reaction. For this delta H will be minus 9890. This is a thermochemical reaction because it has a balanced chemical reaction plus the enthalpy of reaction HR. So it is denoted by like this delta H with the R sign. R means reaction. You can have more examples. For example, you have N2 plus H2 gives NS3. You balance it, plus 2 becomes 3. And you see here the delta H will be minus 92.3 kg. So all these are examples of uh, my thermochemical reaction. You can take example of carbon or you can take example of hydrogen plus iodine gives HI is balanced now. So here delta H is 53 kg. So these are all reactions of thermochemical reaction. Thermochemical reaction is nothing but chemical reaction, uh, balanced chemical reaction with enthalpy of reaction. It is written by delta H R. As I told, thermochemical uh, equation can help us find that my enthalpy is an extensive property. How? Uh, what extensive property is the total extensive property is the property whose value depends on the quantity or size of matters. So, for example, here the total, for the total thing, the delta H is 2x, 
you divide this, their dash becomes x and x. That says the enthalpy is a uh, extensive property. And I'm telling, telling you that this thermochemical equation is used to tell how I can tell you. See, for example, if you have this equation H2 plus O2 gives H2O, this is the equation I have. For this, my delta H is pi seven. Instead of taking two moles of hydrogen, if I take single mole of hydrogen, half mole of oxygen, I give one mole of water. Delta H is just half. So if you see, for let's suppose this whole thing has two hydrogen, the enthalpy change was 572 kilojoule. For one hydrogen, it was 286. It's just half. That means enthalpy depends on the quantity of matter present in the system and that's why the enthalpy is a extensive quantity. Let's understand the points remember for thermochemical The first one is the coefficient which you see in the balanced chemical reaction that refers to the moles of the reactant and product. For example, I had this in uh, the last example, I will give over H2 plus I2 is give, gives you 2HI. So this means one mole of hydrogen, one mole of iron gives two moles of HI. So they are moles of the reactants and the This delta H for reaction, the numerical value, it depends to the number of moles specified by equation. So for example, when I told that uh, I have 2H2 plus O2 gives 2H2O, I say delta H is equal to minus 572 kg. That means this is for 2 moles of hydrogen and 1 mole of oxygen. Right? So this is for that particular equation. If I just half this equation, if I make it hydrogen plus half O2 gives H2O, if you see the delta H became minus 286 kg. So that means this value is dependent on the number of moles of reactant product. So this talks about the number of reactant product for that particular number of moles only. Right? When we reverse the chemical reaction, the delta H sign changes. We have shown that if you have this H2O from this, if you want to find hydrogen and half oxygen, the sign will change. So here the delta H will be 286 kilo. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.